You know you aren't part of an ordinary family when you are a Florida State University volleyball player and your dad is the coach of the men's tennis team. The athletic genes run deep in the Holtquist family, serving to create another seminal legacy at FSU. Everyone in my family plays some sort of sport and we're all very active and we like to go do things together. No matter what side of the net they're on, both Devin and Dwayne are each working hard to be the very best in their respective sports. She had opportunities to go to smaller schools and we looked kind of around the country at schools, but she chose to go to a school, Florida State, that was last year got NCAA runner up. And so she knew that that would be a challenge, but she wanted to play with the best players and she wanted to become the best player that she could become. I would really love to win a national title, and FSU has one of the best beach programs in the country. Devin played indoor volleyball for nearly four years in high school before making the switch to beach volleyball. Her decision was influenced by someone very close to her heart. I started playing because my mom played volleyball when she was growing up, and she was actually my first coach. Whether it was on the sand or this court, Devin was coached by one parent or the other as a young athlete. Before Devin committed to playing only volleyball, she played tennis just like her dad, who coached her. I was playing tennis ever since I was real little, and I played through my freshman year of high school. I think I grew kind of like burned out of tennis because I had just played so much, um, and I decided to switch to volleyball. Ultimately, the relative solitude of tennis competition wasn't the best fit for Devin. She loves being a part of a larger team when she's out on the sand. I like how beach volleyball, like, you always have someone with you. When I used to play tennis, I would ask my dad, can I just go play doubles at this tournament? Like, because I didn't like being, like, alone. So I like how I always have someone with me in beach, and it's like you have a team around you. Although Devin isn't playing much tennis anymore, Coach Holtquist is still proud of his daughter, and he even sees some similarities between the two sports. So, you know, Devin also uses, uh, you know, hitting a serve or an overhead. In beach volleyball, you're, you're using those same kind of skills, and, and so I think uh, for her, the transition to being a tennis player and being a volleyball player, you know, I think it was uh, those skills that she learned uh, as a tennis as, have helped her as a beach volleyball player. Although their focuses are on different sports, the Holtquist family still gets together to stay active. We like to go on runs a lot, and we'll take like everyone on a run. Blake will ride his bike so he can keep up, and then everyone else can pretty much hold their own, and we'll go anywhere from like two miles to five miles. Staying in shape is important to the Holtquists, but it's not always so serious. They enjoy playing sports together too. Coach Holtquist even believes Devin has him beat in volleyball. Her speed and skill has gotten well past mine now. <laughs> I need like uh, an FSU player to help me out. Although fun is part of the game, the Holtquist family is still competitive where it really counts. And, and she enjoys competition. She doesn't, uh, she's always looking at where she can go play in, in the summer. And it's not something that uh, she fears, but something she embraces. She, she loves to battle. Coach Dwayne Holtquist also knows a thing or two about being competitive. He played tennis at Penn State, which ultimately led him to turn pro, playing internationally. You know, being kind of a teaching pro and working with some kids, and very quickly I knew that I'd rather be at a college environment. I think it's important to be a player, to, to be a real good coach. Uh, sometimes some of the best coaches aren't necessarily the best players, but I think um, I think it was uh, it really helped me. Holtquist says being on both sides of tennis ultimately led him to be a better coach. Now he has nothing but the best advice for Devin as she's ready to make a name for herself in beach volleyball. Well, you know, one thing I always say about sports is that, like it's kind of like a very small segment of what life's like. You know, I mean, sometimes, you know, you get beat and you have to get back up and work hard and really kind of lends itself to perseverance. And, you know, that's something I really saw in Devin. That she was able to persevere and to be able to come to a school like Florida State and play for Brooke is, has been really great for her to be able to do that. I'm Olivia Caputo for Seminole Sports Magazine.